I don't really remember a time when I didn't want to have a horse, but I think that when I really decided I was gonna have a horse was I was probably about 10 or 11 years old. I got bit by the bug, and uh, I got my first horse actually when I was 13, and his name was Sugarfoot Finnegan, and I've had horses ever since. That was absolutely why I went to veterinary medical school, was uh, to make sure that I could um, take care of the horses um, that I love so much. If you're going to own a horse, there are a couple of things that you definitely want to be aware of, particularly as it relates to the health of your horse. One of the most um, concerning health issues that can happen for a horse is called, called colic. Um, colic, in its simplest terms, is a belly ache or a abdominal discomfort. A horse, a horse that's uncomfortable or in colic may actually turn around and look at their sides. Um, they may be kicking at their belly. They're going to be visibly uncomfortable. So you definitely want to have a relationship established with a veterinarian. You want the veterinarian to help you with your horse and their particular health needs um, and to understand what some of the signs and symptoms might be. Okay. So the cornerstone of a good horse diet really is some type of roughage. So most horses should have the majority of their diet be hay. And so you'll see that this hay is getting ready to go into this stall so that when the horses come in later today, they'll have something uh, to eat. May not look as appetizing to you or I, uh, but this is the horse's favorite food. Now that Smiles has been fed, you can see how he's chewing his hay. Horses have teeth that we call continually erupting. Some would say they continue to grow as the horse uh, gets older. As the horse ages and they're chewing side to side, those teeth continually come into the mouth. One of the things that your veterinarian will do is to float your horse's teeth to make sure that he is able to eat his hay properly and horses chew from side to side. And so floating is actually filing off very sharp edges that occur on the outside of the molars on the top of the teeth and on the inside of the molars on the bottom of the mouth. Some other things that you're going to want to work with a veterinarian to understand if you're considering a horse are vaccinations, foot and hoof care, deworming and parasite control, transportation and trailering, housing and sheltering and the costs associated with them. And remember, horses can live for over 30 years. Owning a horse is a long-term commitment. The important part is to work with your veterinarian and make sure that you understand the different health needs of your horse and your significant investment. If you make the decision that horse ownership is right for you, remember you'll want to establish a relationship with a horse veterinarian right away. This will allow you to maximize a long, healthy, and happy life with your new horse companion. For more information on horses and horse health, visit aviamay.org.